Kali Tutors tutorial session. In this tutorial session, we'll be focusing on FAC 1501 assignment number one questions. If you are new to our YouTube channel, please subscribe to get access to the latest public videos the moment that we upload them. If you'd like to access private content, please click on the join button. Without wasting your time, let us look at some of the questions from assignment one. Okay, so this question reads as follows. Rapula Spaza is situated in the Limpompo province. The Spaza shop is not a registered vet vendor and applies the principles of the perpetual inventory system. In this case, don't worry too much about whether you understand what a perpetual inventory system is. After a recent robbery, the owner of Rapula Spaza, Mr. Rapula, decided to run his business cashless and open a bank account with Savers Bank. During the month of January 2024, Rapula's Paza maintained a favorable bank balance. Okay, so when they say a favorable bank balance, they mean that they had a positive bank account. Okay, so whenever they withdraw money from the bank account, they are withdrawing their own money. Okay, on January 2024, the owner of Rapula Spiza made a contribution to the shop by paying 1500 for the weekly wages of the shop from his personal bank account. Okay. Complete the table below by selecting the account to be debited, the account to be credited, and the element affected on the statement of financial position uh, from the drop-down menu and filling in the applicable amounts in the correct spaces. Please indicate whether the transaction increases or decreases the affected element in the amount column. Okay, So to indicate when it increases an element, you are supposed to keep your number positive. To indicate that an element is decreasing, you are supposed to use a negative sign. Okay. Now that we have read the instructions, it is important for us to analyze the accounts that are involved. Okay. Firstly, we need to take into account that the owner used his own money uh, to pay for the wages okay secondly we need to understand that the other account that is involved in this case is the wages one okay so let us uh, go to our table and search whether uh, the wages account is an asset or equity or even liabilities account okay and then also look at the capital contribution whether it falls under equity or what so we'll keep on referring to this table whenever we are not sure about uh, what types of accounts are involved, okay? So in this case, we are looking for capital, okay? Capital, this is capital contribution, and this is in what equity account, okay? We also have to search for wages, okay? Wages is also here. Wages and salaries, okay? So both these ones here are equity accounts. So to keep the accounting equation balanced, we know that one of these ones must increase and the other must decrease. So we're expecting a plus or minus in terms of whether an, ele an element increases or decreases, okay? So in this case, we know that they are paying off wages and wages is an expense. Whenever you pay an expense, uh, that uh, expense account is debited, okay? And we also know that uh, capital, whenever you increase capital, we are crediting what uh, that capital account, okay? So that is basically what we are supposed to do. So here, the account to be debited must be the wages account, okay? So we search for wages, okay? And it's available, the amount here. We know we are paying off wages, so this is uh, reducing what? Uh, you're reducing your expenses. In this case, it's 1,500, okay? We are reducing our expenses, and the, this element here is what uh, part of equity, okay? It reduces your equity. Okay, so the account to be credited in this case, it's capital, okay? So we need to search for capital. And uh, since it's increasing capital, we are increasing this amount here, 1,500. And capital is an equity account, okay? If your answers are like this, you are guaranteed to get 100% for this question, okay? I think we are done. Let us move on now to the next question. 